Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ready Steady Play, where we've just finished playing Discover Lands Unknown. And I died. <laughs> Die! You got shot by a kill team, living up to their <sighs> name. They kill me. <laughs> and I've managed to escape. So, what well, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, go me. Do you know what I was actually thinking? I was thinking that maybe the next scenario will tell you what happens. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of interested to just read the intro for Scenario 2. Okay, but, so what happens now then? Does that mean you can only do Scenario 2 on your own? No. No, no, I can do Scenario 2 with it. So, the thing is, right, like, well, and that's sort of what I'm curious about. Like, how closely do these fit together? So, here's the thing. This felt like half a story game. I was very disappointed with how it ended quite anticlimactically, if that makes sense. It's quite it's, anticlimactically. Yeah. yeah, I I felt like the ending didn't really fit with what we were, we're doing. doing in the game. It because... felt incredibly rushed. Now, I don't know if that's just because it's scenario one, but it was like, we'd, it seemed like we'd spent hours um, exploring the board, d trying to um, navigate our uh, health think about it really tactically, help each other out, swap. And then all of a sudden, this all got ignored, what we'd done all here, mm -hmm. and just go straight here and fight something. And then once you've killed it, well done, that's it, you've won. Mm -hmm. And we could have interpreted it as we have to move back to the camp and then fight them, mm -hmm. um, which would have been another way to play it. I mean, it would have just meant more of what we'd already been doing, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but... It also, I also think we were actually extremely unlucky to get this time passes card towards the end because we were running really low on resources mm -hmm. and they weren't replenishing. But that's a that's a side point. Um, yeah. But what the reason I just mentioned that is because it meant that at the end we were very very stuck for resources. We didn't get any of the red cards that replenished any resources on the table, which meant that we just didn't have any to get. And these, I don't know if these night cards are sort of random per box as well. I just don't know. Oh, yes, because it could... I so, don't see why that would be random. I don't see why it would be random, but then again, it's about sort of replayability, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's also about everyone having a unique game. I don't know if every box ends with a fight with a kill team. Yeah. We don't know. We don't But know. Uh, that was April 1972, and yes. Scenario 2 begins Blind Trials, May 1972. Okay, so a month has passed. You have no real idea how you got here or where here is, but a quick search of the camp provides more questions than answers. You find bullet casings, trampled and destroyed supplies, even what looks like old blood stains. Something bad happened here, within the last few weeks if you had to guess. Ooh. Fresh tracks lead away from the camp, so someone must have survived the massacre. Perhaps you can find that survivor. Ooh, so that basically is brand new characters... And they're trying to find, find Alex the Shadow. Yeah. So that's interesting because for start, someone could be Alex the Shadow, right? Like what if I play again with four friends and I give everybody two cards and they all pick one and they get Alex the Shadow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, no, because Alex is the Shadow is the one we're trying to find. <laughs> this is not my story. This is so, dumb. <laughs> on the other hand, I do quite like that because it's obviously picked up the story where it left off. And I can see that these cards are all numbered. Um, do you think Cry for Help is the same in every box? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. These are all numbered one. These are numbered 1.1. 1 .1. So I don't know if these cards like, change. It can't. Be. Maybe it's not. Or maybe it is because... This is clearly a terrain that you don't get in every box. But the scenario, Cry for Help, doesn't really relate to a terrain type. It doesn't relate at all to a terrain type. So that's what's making me think it might be in... And this is also 1.1. So they've obviously synchronized this special enemy with this box. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what we've got here is sort of a culmination of two biomes. Um, and you start at the island... And then the second part of the story takes place on the island. Mm -hmm. And then I guess you do two scenarios in the Badlands that continue the story in some way. And then the fifth one comes back to the island again. Mm. So that means we never get to explore... Well, we might. ...these in this scenario. In this scenario, no, because we didn't. Mm, interesting. 
But, uh, I mean, we could play this scenario again and it would probably be different. different. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we'll just never know. Like the oxygen tank. What does that used for? We'll never know because we never had a, for the phrase underwater in a thing. Yeah. And what does the golden amulet do? We'll never know because I got it too late to make any use of it. What does Order of the Bull do? We'll never know because I didn't have it when I was exploring that cave where it would have been useful. Yeah. And that feels immensely unsatisfying. I was just about to say to you, what is the point of having it? If you can't utilize it. Right. And here's the thing. Like, if we are playing now scenario number two, where we're going to reset the island, we're going to have these new people show up. So does that mean this order of the bowl disappears? Yes. But we now know that if you find out, we now know that if you find location number one, you can get the order of the bowl there. If you find location number four, you can use the order of the bowl there. Which means that in scenario, when we play scenario number two, we can still find these locations. We can, but there was also two ones and two fours, so there's no guarantee that you'll pick the card. That's correct. Uh, but then again, you can spend another stamina to explore again and find something else. Yeah. So when when and if you explore again, you'll get the other card because you're supposed to mm-hmm. take it out. I think. Yeah. Um, well, it does say actually return them to the deck. So maybe you're not. Maybe it is supposed to be sort of random, and you can waste mm-hmm. stamina trying to find the book and never find it mm-hmm. potentially. But. The odds are you will find it eventually, I guess. I don't know. True. But, uh, I mean, I thought it was all right. I I actually liked it. I thought... I, I, I Sorry? I feel like I would have hated the combat if I wasn't Alex the Shadow. I think we were incredibly lucky that we got that character. I think we would have been dead a long time earlier. Yeah, I don't know how anyone survives without that character, to be honest. Because you did a lot of the fighting and a lot of the combat. Enormous amount of fighting. Um, I was very much on your coattails with that. Um, I feel like we just just scraped through. Because there was a lot of... And we were very lucky that we managed to craft a bow and arrow that uh, enabled us to re-roll dice. Yep. I had some other useful things. See, mine weren't that useful. I don't understand why you didn't craft anything. You are a craftsman. Because it needed stone, dude. Stone pot, stone knife. See, I think you should have made that stuff. But I never went near a stone. To craft. Yeah. Um, What is the number on the stone pot? Uh, Two, but I can do it for one. Oh, 95. Sorry. (laughs) Thanks for that. So, if at a fire, spend one water and one meat to gain three food. Limit once per day. What is the number on the other thing, the knife? 94. So I wanted to do that. That would help me in combat. Add one to your combat rolls. When you deal damage in combat, you may discard this to deal an extra damage. That's also really good. Yeah. Those would have been great. Um, I think you maybe should have insisted on doing some more crafting because... But the, And so this is... I, I, I insisted on making a bedroll, even though I didn't know if it'd be any good. I was like, it must be good. No, it, and, and to be fair, I did want the I did want to do both of these, but I was never at a point... This was the only time I was near some stone... Mm. And I had to use that to get my medicine. Yeah, you were actually... All the stone was over here. I was all the wood. And that was just... That's funny. And I wanted a bedroll as well, more than anything. <laughs> yeah, it would have been great if we could have got you a bedroll. Um, but there was not enough animal parts. But there was not enough animals. And again, we were unlucky that we didn't get the... Come back, animals. Mm. Yeah, we didn't get the animals to come back. And we didn't find any monsters that... Or, or wildlife that became animals. We didn't find any monsters. No. I don't think these qualify as monsters. Do um, you want to see this terrain, or do you want to leave it as a surprise? I think we'll just leave it yep. as a surprise. I mean, I, I can't imagine it's very different than some other stuff. No, I just wanted to know how many other water features there are. I imagine there's another water in a forest. Oh, yeah, there probably is. I mean, there's another water token here. That's what I mean. Because um, if there's one in the mountains and one in the... Oops, um, one in a Grasslands. Grasslands. I imagine the next one is in the... I reckon it's a waterfall. In the, des- in the um, jungle. But I don't feel like we ever had the luxury of enough stamina to use any of these items. And it did feel kind of like blind luck that we just kind of found that stuff. And I feel like when I got the gold amulet, it was like, now I should remember where I've seen that symbol and go back and find those places. But there's just no way that I was ever going to be able to do that. Mm-mm. And I also feel like after all of that, it didn't really give me a sense of closure um, because now I have to play scenario two to find out the next part of the story. Yeah. And I'm like, can do I, do I want to, do can I, I be bothered? To? Well, it was two hours to do this. Um, I guess it'll be another two hours to do the next one 
another two hours. So that's ten hours to play through all three, all five. All five, yeah. All five. Um, do I think that the game is interesting enough to make me want to go through all five? I'm concerned that uh, I won't have Alex the Shadow in the next game. I wouldn't want him because it would make sense with the story I'm developing in my head. Yeah, but, I agree. But then if I don't have him, am I just going to be murdered by everything? I. But you also don't know. There might be another character in there that's similar. I don't know. There's a whole bunch more characters here. There's 12. We've seen two. Well, we've seen four. Um, but uh, what's uh, concerning to me is that uh, I think that the combat is pretty awful. You might have a medic in there, you see, that might heal people better. You've got all these combat modifiers, but we never even got poison or the cog wheel. So yep. we couldn't use those. I mean, those are the ones I'd be interested in having because they allow you to modify dice directly. I don't I don't think rerolls are very good, you know? Mm. I mean, it's, it's not better when than... It's not when you've got something like this. It's, yeah. n- it's just... It's better than nothing, but it's it feels... I, I like things that, that directly modify dice because that's that's sort of a guarantee, right? Yeah. Um, I much prefer that to a re-roll, which is just like, maybe going to help, maybe It's total not. potluck. Yeah, total potluck. And that, I think, could be very, very frustrating, especially seeing as if you fail, those are wounds that can never be healed. I don't understand why the physical wounds can't be healed. That makes that no se- sense to that me. That seems so limiting. It seems, yeah, it seems incredibly... Uh, because as, as soon as I got bitten dangerous. by the croc, I was already one of my four down. Yeah, and that's but that's and that's forever. You know, yeah. Uh, for this whole stage, right? I assume uh, this whole scenario. Yeah. I assume you get it back in. Well, you will get it back in scenario two, two. because you're a different character. Yeah, you're a different character, and it's also sort of. I mean, I they they do fit together. It does say they all fit together, and a story comes out at the end of it, so you'll have a greater understanding. And I do like that. I actually quite like that it's sort of somewhat emergent. So yeah, you know, like the story of. I do, uh, me too. I like that aspect of it. Yeah. But I still don't understand why how we got up here, how we ended up here. Um, yeah, maybe that comes through once you've been playing it a while. But how Alex and Alexi wound up on the island? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe all this um, actual written, crafted story information is gathered using the amulet and the tank, and, we'll, and the order of the bull, and we'll never know. But then that seems sad, because then. I, I mean, you could find like, out by, like, looking through the cars and reading it all, but that seems to be, like... No, it tells you not to do that. Yeah, it tells you not to do that. And also, I think, you know, that would... I think just spoil it. Yeah. But, but I, I... So, you then I'm conflicted, then. It's yeah, like, and I'm I don't also, want to spoil it, but then I also, like... I'll be sad never to know. Yeah. <laughs> I also don't want to play the next scenario and spend the whole scenario running around trying to find the Order of the Bull so I can try and find the grassy cave, so I can try and find out what happens if I have those things. Um, because that feels bad because I'll be playing a new character who won't know that that's what those things do yeah and does that mean will you because this is 86 which relates to this the kill team yeah now there was only one of these does uh, that half spoilt it which means there's going to be another kill team the at the end one? of the scenario I don't think so I'm, I imagine it must end differently um you know there are there's only two special boss monsters right because yeah. we've only got the two tokens the other comes from the badland boards yeah exactly so i don't know if it's fully intended for you to use with this but we do have a lot more of these exploration cards here and we've got a lot more well not a lot more but a bunch more monster cards here as well mm-hmm. so there are more things do you know what this is i think people will be disappointed with this if they're expecting a much more in-depth exploration game yeah, because it doesn't... Like I said, it feels like half a story game and it feels like half a survival game. Yeah, it's almost like quite not worked out what it wants to be and it's tried to be... Much like Lost, the TV show. Yeah. It doesn't really know what it wants to be. And then, <laughs> So it's tried to do both, but only done half of it? Only done half of either. So it's, it's like the... The Jack of all trades, but master of none. Yeah, because the ending felt like a story ending, right? Like, yeah. we'd spent this whole game trying to survive, and it was the survival part of this game that really sort of impacted us during the playthrough. Mm-hmm. And so we'd spent this whole thing trying to survive. And then in the end, it was like warp across the island, and that felt weird because it seemed at odds with the survival stuff. And that's then it was like, I mean. fight it's... this kill team. And it's like, well, that's, I guess, part of the story from when we activated the radio. Yeah. But why are they but coming why is to it try warping? and kill us? You know? It's like, I don't get it. It's, it as well, I said, maybe it wasn't. It felt like it doesn't fit. 
And now I'm like, am I in for another eight hours of this to find out how it ends? Hmm. Um, do I feel like the game is robust enough to entertain me for another eight hours? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel like the combat system's going to feel really bad. Yeah. We didn't get any of the poison. We didn't get any of the the medical the 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 cog items here. No. Um, I I I as I say, I feel like if you've got experienced gamers that are. I, I can feel them. I can understand them being maybe a little bit disappointed with this. Yeah, but if you've got people, but that, it's quite uh, tough. It is quite tough. That's what I mean. It's like you're gonna. Th- that's what I mean. We can't decide what to do. You're gonna have people that are disappointed with it because they feel like it needs more. Mm-hmm. But then I feel it also might potentially put off people just coming to the genre of this exploration game because. It's like if you say you didn't have Alex and it's so hard to complete scenario one, then everyone's going to be like, oh, this is too hard. Why would I want to continue with it? My natural curiosity wants to try and find out what happens. You know, I always want to know what happens. I'm a bit of a sucker for that. But me part, too, because I love a good story. Part of me is thinking like, I mean, well, I, so the, at the back of my mind, I want to compare it to Seventh Continent. And I don't really like doing this in the final thoughts because if you haven't played Seventh Continent, this is going to be really hard for you to track. But we played that for two hours. We played it for four hours on the first curse, which is like the first difficulty level. And we both times we just kind of died partway through the story and never got to the end. So, yeah. I mean, I feel like in a way, I'd rather play a two hour that ended unsatisfactorily than a four hour that didn't end at all. Yeah. Um, but then again, I, I feel like I had more fun playing Southern Continent, I think. I felt like there was more... I felt like there was the more, different more stuff happening, more interesting things going on, more stuff to do. Decision making. I like a lot of what's going on here. I just... Um, I'm just not sure that... Uh, I'm, I just think this combat system is really punishing and awful. Yeah. Um, Particularly if it wounds you. And if, you just, if you're just spending the whole game trying to avoid combat, what else is there to do? You're just picking up tokens. Almost, almost feels like you're just going through emotion rather than, rather than, making meaningful decisions. Oh, I yeah, I never felt like we really had the sort of the luxury of choice. You know, it always felt like this is, well, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I we did have the luxury of choice, and I was just con- I was constantly thinking, how do we ensure our survival? Right. Mm. It's like there was a lot of sort of gambles we could have made and hoped for the best. Because it does. Yeah, but I didn't want to ever gamble because it, you know it, it could have just not paid off and we could have just died and it would have been the end. That's what I. That's um, I remember. I think you said something similar. It's like it's a bit too reliant on luck, then, isn't it? It's almost like wing it and see. And if you've got this type of exploration game, I think you need to come up with meaningful decisions rather than a wing it decision well for a game that continues after someone dies as well that's really bad you know like the fact it's got player elimination you know so if you're playing it on a game night and someone goes out they just have to sit there while the rest of you carry on two hours is not short enough that that's not significant yeah that's a long time i mean two hours is a long play you know and there was just two of us if you had three or four people it'd probably be i mean it says an hour to two hours on the box but i think it's a pretty solid two hours yeah Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm more excited. I don't know if it took us a full two hours. But there's only two of us. There's only two of us. But that was just scenario one as well. The other scenarios might be longer. Yeah, there might be more cards. And of course it depends on, as well on how quickly you find house number one. Like we spent a good three or four days before we found outpost house one. It makes, you, it makes you go to the furthest edge of the board mm. to find it. Yeah. But we didn't know that when we were starting the game. No, we didn't know that. But I also thought that uh, Discover Lands Unknown was a really misleading title. Because it wasn't Discover Lands Unknown. It, these were quite clearly known because there was a survivor here already. There was a wrecked plane. There was a, a, a tree house and a building. And then there was a kill team that showed up. This is quite clearly... And there was a radio here from before. These are quite clearly not Lands Unknown. These are quite clearly Lands Well Known. You know, that you've become trapped in somehow. Lands unknown to us, maybe. Lands unknown to us, maybe. But it, that's what I mean when it felt like lost. You know, it's like at the beginning of the show, you feel like they're they don't know what's going on in this island, and then it becomes apparent that there's a whole scientific installation there. 
Sorry, spoilers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like tw- 15 years too late. <laughs> um, and so it, it felt like, you know, it started off, I was like, oh, animals and stuff, you know. And then very quickly it was like, oh, we've discovered a treehouse, you know. And then mm. it very quickly it was like, oh, now there's a radio and a, and, 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 and a man who's plane. left a map, you know. Yeah. And so I was kind of like, and so what I was hoping for, I think more was kind of like... wilderness Yeah, just survive in the wilderness type game. But then I guess that, that'd be a bit directionless, right? It doesn't maybe, need some kind of plot. Maybe it is more unknown if you get more remote, like... If you went to a mountainous area, if you got given the mountainous area, I don't think so though because this scenario is pre- is it's very written. Yeah, they're not terrain specifically. I mean, the thing is, outpost one could be outpost one on any terrain type. Yeah. You know, I mean, look at it like as if this has a radio in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? It looks like a ruined castle. It is. <laughs> That's it. It could be literally anything. Mm-hmm. And that's our treehouse, by the way. Yeah. Arguably, well, it is a treehouse actually. Mm-hmm. So that's actually a that's an actual treehouse. It's a giant tree trunk with a house built in it. So yeah. anyway, enough of that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of an odd one, really. But uh, it's sort of weirdly, weirdly, it's weird enough that I am intrigued by the story. And I, I do want to find out what happens, but I. I me personally, I'm a sucker for wanting to complete things. I, yeah, I'm. I'm also a sucker for that. You know, I, I'm a total completionist. I can't start a book without finishing. Yeah, it. but for, it's can't... stories, right? Like, I, I don't, I don't care about doing all the objectives or achievements, right? I just want to know how the story ends. Correct, and that's you know, that's me so too. I'm a story completionist. Me, well, exactly right. Same as me. Yeah. I can't watch a film without knowing the ending, and I can't start a book without finishing it. So mm. for me now that I've started this story. I need to know. But I would hate if we play, wow. sat down to play it again, and then we played for 90 minutes and both died. You know, Because then that's 90 minutes and we're still no closer to knowing. But it also leaves me with this... De- well, you say that, but it leaves me with this dilemma of, is that the end of our story? I know that's not the end of the story that's present in the game, but our characters have died. That's the end of the story of those characters that showed up and found the wreck of where Alex and Alexi were. So does that mean you have to start scenario one again? Does yeah? Does that mean you start scenario one again? You know. Or do you start scenario two with different characters and just pretend and, and just pretend like that part like of the thing. story didn't happen? Yeah. You know. Um. Just go. Well, they died, so that's the end of that part of the story. And then we, go, we either we we rhymed back or we just pretend another boat showed up immediately afterwards in May mm-hmm. also. Yeah. And just have no recollection of those other people who died. Yeah. You know. And I would, I would, I would, if I was playing scenario two, I would take out Alex and Alexi to sort of preserve that authenticity. Yeah. That's the other thing. If we committed to playing this all the way through, would we, would our, our dedication be rewarded with worthwhile story? Mm-hmm. I think that if, I don't know if I'd recommend this because it doesn't even really deliver on the survival aspect. I mean, it's definitely present, but if I was like selling it to my friends as a survival game, and then we played scenario one, and they're all kind of there at the end going, well, we all died with the kill team, and then they weren't going to play the other parts of it. I'd have to up front be like, there's a story, and at the end, we may not finish the story, mm. you know? Like, if I'm playing a survival game, I want to know I've won at the end because I survived. Yeah. You know? And I don't want to be murdered by a kill team to create a cliffhanger for the next stage. Yeah. You know? But it's not a survival game purely. It's actually a story game with survival Ooh, stuff. Elements in it. Yeah, and that's why the name is so misleading. Mm. That's why the name is so misleading. Because also, what was the discovery, really? The discovery was the story in the game. It wasn't lands unknown at all. It was discover mysterious, weird plot. <laughs> yeah. You know? The discover is turning the tiles over, isn't it? So if I was like, do you want to play a story game that's about surviving on an island and discover- do you want to play Lost the board game? <laughs> you know? I bet a lot of people would sort of say, oh, well, you'd probably get a camp that says, yes, I would love that. And probably another camp that would go, hell no. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, do you remember uh, how that ended? Do you remember season four and five? No, because nobody does, because nothing interesting happened. Yeah. 
no oh, interesting stuff did happen <laughs> um so that's i mean and so I th- that's what i think i think i don't know how to sell it to my friends i don't know how to sell it to them without them potentially being disappointed i'd need a dedicated gamer group who are interested in finishing the story um it doesn't really scratch the niche of a survival game either we played it for two hours mm. but we didn't make a we made fires but we didn't make any shelter not what you expected not what i expected and I think it's a fair assessment yeah not what i expected and i think it's a peculiar one i think if you want a a, a light breezy fast story game then this that, is it then this could be it yeah because you know it's but it, who knows right because, yeah, because your box and story different. could be completely different, different you know so now i'm even like can i recommend it well i don't know because i've been here rating this whole thing you might not even have a kill team in your version of the game you might start in a mountain and then you find a magical unicorn in a <laughs> thing in a like a in a in a crystal cave. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, could it be keeps any. referring to monsters. I didn't see any monsters. There could be monsters in here. Personally, I would want to play it again, but yeah. I don't know if that's just me wanting to complete it rather than because it's a good game. Yeah, I think I want to play it again in spite of the actual gameplay because I really don't like the combat. And I thought that the the survival aspect was mildly engaging. You know, it was sort of an interesting puzzle to solve, I guess. But I wasn't so engaged by it that I'm like, I want to do this puzzle yeah. again. You know, and it, it could be completely different. Yeah. Um, and it felt very random as well. It felt like it could potentially just be brutally punishing, and we would get lots we didn't deserve. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I, but on the other hand, yeah, I do want to find out what happens to this in the story. But I think that's just. Um, because that's my button. I think it's pushed my button. And I'm like, I want to find out how the story ends. Why did the kill team show up? You know, yeah. who are these people who are now showing up after the kill team? But I don't even, I don't even know if I trust it to reward, to answer those questions, questions. and to reward my interest. It's going to make you go into the Badlands to find but, out. Yeah, but I don't know if I trust it to, to give me the answers I want. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't trust it to deliver a compelling narrative. It might answer the questions I want, but I don't trust that they're going to be good answers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Fair enough. But maybe we can run through it and come back for sort of like a uh, we finish discover recap and see tell the people. Yeah, if people are interested for that. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to see us film the rest, let us know. But mm-hmm. uh, otherwise, we might just play it by ourselves and then do a recap video because yeah. that'll be a lot quicker too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> anyway, that's it for discover. Um, I the the the, the actual gameplay mechanics will be very similar for most of the games, I think. So. There is that, and maybe that's why the survival element felt light because it had to be applicable to so many different so many different v- versions, variations, variations. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. thanks for coming on this journey with us, guys, and I hope it was educational for you. I hope you found it interesting, and we will be back tomorrow for, an, for or a different adventure. Very soon for an entirely different adventure. Yeah. Cool. We'll catch you soon. Michael died. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> <laughs>